on this 2014 Ford Transit Connect. We're going to review and install the Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56218. All right, with this part number, these are the parts that you receive. First off, the main wire harness right here. We'll go a little bit of detail. This is the T connector right here. The one with yellow goes to the driver's side. T connector for passenger side gets the green wire. These fit the pre existing connections that are in the vehicle. We have a white wire with a ring terminal that goes to ground, basically any part of the sheet metal in the vehicle. This black wire is power. This gets extended with this longer piece of wire to go up towards the battery. Now, the reason why we need to run our wire up to the battery is what happens here is that this module actually copies the signal going into it and then relays it out to your trailer through the four pole flat wiring harness. That way your vehicle's wiring harness is insulated from the trailer if it has any shorts or other problems. Looking at the four pole, it also comes with a cap for when you're not using it. When you run your wire harness up to the battery, it's provided with a fuse holder and a fuse, some zip ties, and connections to make to the battery. Also it comes with an adhesive pad to help mount the module to hold it in place. Okay, we'll go ahead and show you how we install it. Our first step to install is to get inside the vehicle. With our threshold, we're just gonna leave it loose so we can work our wires underneath of it. Then we'll go over to our panel on the side and loosen that up as well. So there's a snap about right here. You wanna use a trim panel tool with a long reach. One about right here. Right here. Okay. Now this small panel right here, we need to pop loose and move our way as well. All right, this is our passenger side of course. We're gonna repeat the same process over on the driver's side. Next, you wanna unsnap the top edge here. Make sure you get as much as you can because you need all the room to find the connection point. All right, this is our connector right here. And you wanna look for, there's a couple up in there. You wanna look for one that has all black wires going to it. Now this was snapped into place. To make things easier, I pulled it out so we can find it a little bit easier. All right, now to disconnect it, push down that tab right there and pull it apart. Let's get our wire harness and make our first connection. The T connection with the yellow wire will go in between the two halves. Okay, then we'll connect this back up to the other half. Push them together to the click. T connector with the green wire, route through our plastic, Underneath the edge of a vertical panel. And we'll go ahead and tuck it underneath the threshold. We'll also route this behind the panel here, just like we did before on the other side. and we'll make our connection just like we did on the other side. Same thing as before, we'll go ahead and pull it apart. Now you notice there's another connector with black wires. That's not the right one. Make sure it has a six wires, or make sure it has the same amount of connections as before. All right, let's go ahead and work our ground wire. We'll go ahead and use the provided self-tapping screw, and we'll attach it to the sheet mill at the bottom here. Now we'll need to use a quarter inch nut driver. I'll go ahead and run the screw in first, then attach the wire. Next up, our black wire. We'll go ahead and take a long length of black wire and attach to that using the provided buck connector. Now next we need to run our black wire to the outside and to the battery up front. To do that, we're going to temporarily take this taillight off and run through the grommet. Using the T25 Torx bit, we'll go ahead and take out both bolts. One on the bottom, one on the top. I'll go ahead and pull the grommet loose and run our black wire from the inside. We'll put a small hole in the grommet here and pull our wire through. Let's 
small pocket knife works pretty good for this purpose. We'll put our grommet back in place. We'll take our wire, we're just gonna drop it down through the body work and out the bottom. Okay, now we'll go ahead and take a moment to attach our module to the sheet metal. We'll go ahead and make sure the surface is clean on both sides. We'll attach our adhesive. At this point, we can go ahead and put our tail light back together and reinstall our interior panels. Now we're going to show you how I ran the wire up towards the front. It originally came out down here. We can actually we snuck it behind the sheet metal here, came out around the corner, up to the top here, drilled a small hole into the fender wet liner and just zip tied it. Went over the brake lines, stayed away from the spring, went over the heat shield here, came down, left a little length in there for flexibility, and we zip tied to our parking brake cable. Okay, ran a wire down through here behind this sheet metal and there's a plastic panel right here that we, hood, that we hit our wire going all the way across. All we had to do is pull out some fasteners that look like this. It goes all the way right down the edge. To remove the fasteners, there's a small edge where you can put a screwdriver into and pop out the centers. Once the centers popped out, you can pull out the whole assembly and get access to this panel. Okay, you reassemble, just put it in there and push the center back in. So that wires all the way down towards front wheel. Okay. And then we'll use a pull wire to bring this up towards the top. The pull wire we're using is actually an old piece of airline tubing, but this could be any piece of material that can hold its shape as you guide it down towards the bottom. We'll go underneath the connector wire, pull it back up. Let's go ahead and send it back up towards the top. I'll hide as much as I can behind the fender liner. We'll just go ahead and route it up towards the top this way. Okay, here's our wire. And it's literally at the goal line. So we're gonna strip our wire back, add a buck connector to it. Okay, then we'll add a fuse holder to it. Now the other end, we'll get the ring terminal. We'll go ahead and take a moment to tape up our connections to help protect them. Then we'll add this to our battery. Pop off the cover to our battery. We'll add it to the top for post right here. Okay, we'll use a 12 millimeter socket to remove the top here. Sometimes you won't be able to remove the nut entirely. We'll just go ahead and put a notch into our ring terminal and slide it on, tighten it back down. Put a fuse into the fuse holder. And take a moment to zip tie our wire. And go ahead and put our cover back on. We'll go ahead and use a light tester and try it out. Take a ground from a light tester, attach it to a white wire lead. Then we'll check the brown wire for a running light circuit. Yellow for left turn. Green for right turn. And then a brake signal will be a constant signal on the green and yellow wires. All right, looks like everything works. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to use it. Now when this is not being used, you can store it with the jack storage tools inside here since this panel comes off easily. When we do want to use it, just go ahead and pull it out and down to your trailer. Just make sure you stay away from the latch right here. The door seals thick enough won't hurt anything when you shut the hatch. Then we can just pull out what we need down to our trailer. Okay, and with that, that'll finish it for the Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56218, on this 2014 Ford Transit Connect.